Welcome to Module 4 of MFA 700. The focus on this module is character change, and I will add some supplemental information about breaking the rules of grammar. When is that okay, and when should it not be done? Let's go ahead and take a look at the learning objectives. This is basically the same thing we've been doing the last two modules. We have some discussions that are optional, and if it's your turn to submit your thesis, then that's what you're going to do. Moving on to the modular glance. Again, if it is your week to turn in your thesis, please do so. I will reach out to you after I have read it to set up a time to have a conversation with you. For the readings and resources, we are looking at chapter 11, where Lisa Cron describes how to build a blueprint for your novel. A word of advice is please read this and keep an open mind. And if you find it beneficial to the way that you approach writing a novel, wonderful. If you find it is actually more of a distraction and will actually hinder you in writing a novel, then perhaps you can adapt it or just disregard it. There's a wonderful article here on, it talks about the challenges that most writers face in the middle of their stories, which is very common. For the module overview, one thing I want to really highlight, is you can read this through on your own, is that we want to make sure that when we are dealing with characters, we are dealing with the evolution of characters throughout the novel. That is one point that I agree with Cron, is we need to think, where did our characters start out? Where are they now? And where are they going to end up? If we're halfway through the novel and the character hasn't really changed, then we need to consider that that's something we need to investigate and figure out, hmm, what can I do to help that character grow? Because that is the important part of the story. Before you get started, I will have a video resource that talks about the grammar rules and writing rules that we can break when it comes to creative writing, some ideas and some ones that we should not break. So please review that. As a friendly reminder, I encourage you to use the open workshop to network with your peers on your writing. Keep in mind that I will be digesting the work that is submitted for the week as far as the thesis and so I really try to wrap my head around those particular stories, so I am not usually very involved in this. This is more for peers. If it is your turn to submit a thesis, we will get to that in just a moment. But first, let's look at 4-3. This is the area where I do post an optional rule or post and I'll let you go ahead and read through this something to think about again it deals with breaking grammar rules when is it okay when is it not okay and stuff like that again that ties in directly with the supplemental video which I will be providing for this module if it's your turn to submit thesis part one Make sure you click on submitting the assignment. Once you have submitted it, I will go ahead and start reading it. I will contact you via email when I have finished it, and we can set up a time to chat. When I am recording this video right now, I have had this opportunity to speak with three of the students where, you, where, where we did the Zoom conference, and um, I felt personally that it was very helpful. I thought that we both benefited from it, and it was a wonderful experience. So I thank those who've already done that, and I look forward to speaking with those that are coming up. 
and that's when we get to module five next. Now, before we tune out here, module five, we talk about honing your pitch. So one thing that I've mentioned to a few of the writers that I've worked with thus far is ask them a question, what is the premise of your book? And that is something you need to figure out because that will be part of your pitch. So that is something you want to be thinking about. What is the premise of your book? And if you're not sure how to compose a premise, look at the back of any novels that you have laying around and see the little blurbs on the back and see how other writers have basically pitched their book or how they have used um, words to describe their premise and put it on the back of their book. And that is it for module number four.